take your time, just rotate, 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 and then one side, keep on rotating, and then the other side, keep on rotating. Just like that, yeah. Try to get your arm, like we do with Namiash. Here, for example, we're, we're kind of, we're prepping our hip, and then we're pulling back as we do, foot's coming up and down. So this idea, one, arm, two feeling, hips already prepped, you're just pulling back as you, as you go in, yeah? What you're ultimately doing is you're kind of falling into your, into your stance. You're not, you're not kind of shifting your body weight, you're keeping your body weight where it is, pulling your hip back, so your foot comes up on your line, on your centre line. Rotate, rotate, rotate. So I, I don't, of course, we're putting the pressure. So, so from here, have this sense of one, two. This feeling of one, two. So you're one, two. One, two. One, two. That, was that like when we're in coast match, as soon as we pick that knee up, we kind of ex move into this naturally without kind of real effort, move into this kind of relaxed hip back position. You understand? So as, as we squeeze our, use our hip flexors, squeeze our abdomen, bring our leg up, this way, our hip naturally comes into this position. You understand? Okay. Yeah. So this is one way to, from this relaxed position, just bring your knee up. This, this way, yeah? This way. Okay, try it. Then from here, when we do it fast, it will naturally come out. So allow your leg to go out about three quarters, knee, three quarters out. And then from here, we'll take your hip in, and then come back. Okay, so that's what we'll do. This first itch, knee, sand, rotate, come back. I'm and looking at you guys at the beginning. Vast majority of people were kicking without this hip rotation. So, so a lot of you are kicking like this. So naturally, when you're in coast arch, and no matter what stance you make, as soon as you do this, your hip kind of falls back slightly. And then you're just reliant on this snap of your kick. And at best, you're kicking with your foot at 45 degrees. Understand? Well, some people, one or two of you, who are trying to use your, your hip, but you're using it prematurely, so you come up, the hip would go around, your foot would come from the outside, you do this. So even if you do this fast, it kind of looks okay. It kind of looks okay, but it's actually more washing it. As soon as your foot goes to the outside of your centre line, comes from the outside in, it's going to be more straight. Yes. So, what we're trying to get you to do is realise how you use your hip, but more importantly, when you use your hip. Don't use it prematurely, don't use it, don't not use it. But from here, this naturally primes it. You let your leg fly. And then from this point onwards, then you're rotating it out, back and down. So what you're doing is you're kicking to the side. You're kicking, you're kicking to the side. You're not, not using your hip, you're not allowing it to move to the side, or from the outside, sorry, but you're just snapping your leg at the right time. You understand? Okay. So okay. if I was to kick Andrew, which of course is my ultimate desire, <laughs> then how many of you ever practice your game keg like this? Us. Okay, please put your hitch. Okay. Well, who's taught to kick your game keg like this? Okay. Okay. Put your head in the shot. <laughs> If you kick like this, it's like this one. It's like kicking, asking someone to kick my game like this. Is this a good way to kick my game? No, no, no. no. Of course, we want our power to go forward using our hip. To kick up is no good. We have to allow our power to drive in this way. So this is a combination of course your leg driving, but also this hip rotation, this way. Just the same way as this thing. Don't reinforce this kind of bad action by doing this bad action, right?